I wanted to do a video today to walk you guys through setting up a basic Cisco IP, uh, voice over IP phone um, to allow it to integrate into an overhead paging controller uh, or overhead paging amplifier. There are devices that you can purchase that will adapt the um, SIP signal to go to an analog amplifier, but they're expensive and they require configuration and there's really no reason to do it. This way, what we're going to do is take a regular phone, in this case, a Cisco 7942, but any Cisco phone that has a speaker uh, can be done, uh, can be utilized for this. So what we're gonna do is basically disconnect the speaker, extend the speaker wires, and utilize the speaker wires as your tip and ring input into your analog paging amplifier. So on the 7942, there are nine screws in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one under this foot, one under this foot. Pay attention to this screw hole because we will not be putting a screw back in there. This is where our wire is going to come out for the extension. Uh, it shouldn't matter because there's a screw hole directly under this foot, so that holds the phone together. I've already removed the screws, so from there, we just take off the bottom of the phone. And you'll see the speaker here. From there, we're going to disconnect the speaker wires. Now, you can probably do this with leaving the speaker wires intact on the speaker so the speaker itself would receive the page whenever you do a page over the phone but i'm not going to do that because i don't have any reason to put this gasket back in place for no real reason so now we have the plug that went into the speaker we're going to just strip that plug back so we just have our positive and negative speaker leads. From there, I'm going, this is the, the recipient post for the screw hole that I told you about earlier. I'm just gonna grab that with my pliers and pr just twist it right off. It comes off very easy. What that will do is allow me room to have my wires go through the bottom of the phone without damaging the wires or putting them in too much of a bind. So here, I'm just inserting one pair from a Cat6 through the hole in the bottom of the phone. And this is what I will strip back and tie into the positive and negative for the speaker. The other end of this Cat6 cable will go to the tip and ring inputs of your paging amplifier. I always do the solid color as positive. So in this case, the blue would be positive and the white color as a negative. So blue positive, white blue negative. And then from there, I'll take some electrical tape. You can solder this if you really want to, but I'm going to put a knot in this cable so it will never actually receive any pressure no matter how hard you pull on it. So there's no real reason for me to actually solder these because this connection is going to be inside the phone and will never really be messed with. So I'm going to take this connection and just tie a knot in the wire itself. That way, no matter how hard you pull on the wire from the outside of the phone, it will never get any pressure on that connection. So then we just take the plug, plug it back into the board, and reassemble our phone. The 7942, you put the top in first and it just kind of glides into place. So with all of that back together, I'll put the screws in. This phone no longer has a speaker that functions, but this wire can now be tied into the input of the amplifier 
and anything that would have gone over this phone speaker will now come out the analog amplifier through the overhead paging speakers. This can also be utilized. Uh, I did this because we're, ha we're having trouble getting overhead paging to work with paging over the phones using a paging gateway. So this way, the paging gateway will just send a page to this device, just like it does every other phone. It will trigger the speaker of this phone, and as far as the paging gateway knows, it's just sending a page over a telephone, where this phone is actually sending it over the amplifier. If you have overhead paging and aren't interested in paging over the phones, you can set up a single voice over IP phone and turn on the auto answer option. Once you turn on the auto answer option, any calls that are made to that device will automatically pick up on the speaker. So you would just assign that device an extension, that extension becomes your paging extension, dial that extension, that phone answers. Any audio that is then transmitted to that phone through your receiver will go out over the overhead speakers. So I hope this has been informative. I hope you guys are able to save some money and simplify your setups. Uh, any comments or questions, leave them at the bottom and I'll get back to you if I can. Thanks.